I am Danny Butler. And I'm Danny Butler too. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this is this. And this. This is me riding the ball. And this. It's trial tube. So, welcome back to trial tube. It's season two, and we have got so much for you in this season. I know I've been on a bit of a hiatus, you know, and I've missed a few episodes, and I know people have been angry but I've been away doing some of this. Now in this season, what can you expect to see? We have got more reviews, more messing about, more of the dog. No. And some extra things coming up, including a new feature that I like to call Sausage of the Comments. Now, what is Sausage of the Week, you ask? No. Sausage of the Week is the person in the comments who's acted like a right sausage. So, we're gonna start, so be aware, we're going to start naming and shaming those with the negative comments because during my break of doing my job, I had a lot of negative comments and here at Trial Tube, well, we've got a backbone. So we are definitely going to be outing you. But on to more of the trials. <laughs> so, we may as well kick in with intro the introduction of my bike because if you're new here at the channel, don't forget to... Uh, like and subscribe, you would have seen me come from beta to vertigo. Can there be too much titanium? That's not exactly standard, but it's also kind of standard. So here we go. <laughs> She's got some compression. That doesn't happen to me very often. First thoughts after five minutes. I want one. So this week on Trial Tube, it's new bike day. And honestly, if you would like to know the ultimate question of, do I still like my Vertigo after owning it for six months? It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I've also been blessed with some very nice shiny parts thanks to the guys at Vertigo UK and the guys at MP over in Italy who've hooked me up with a one of a kind titanium exhaust sectionally welded and uh, they've even laser etched in the trial tube logo. So I've got that much bling going on I've had to go and get the sunnies out. And honestly, thanks to the guys at MP Design and uh, Maurizio putting together that amazing exhaust and the guys at CSP sorting me out with that sump plate, what can I say? The bike's gone to a whole new level of bling. It's insane. I've got a sump plate that's now stronger, easy to fit and laser etched with trial tube. <laughs> and a front pipe that's just... I think I need a moment to myself. No. Bling update. Now, we're back at the gaff, and uh, before I let you into the secret of do I still love my Vertigo, just because I may or may not love it, doesn't mean I'm not gonna maintain it. 
So, we've got some stuff to do and a few cheeky updates. Stuff that includes, but is not limited to, new bar ends. So we're going to get rid of those scratched S3 ones. Also, fresh pegs. Because these ones are, are missing a few studs and looking a little worse for wear. Also, my spare wheel, I'm not saying I've been doing a lot of riding, but you'll notice I've got two part worn tyres. This one's pretty worn, and this one's pretty worn. I will be swapping over to Michelin's, but I was using up the Dunlops that come on them, because let's be honest, let's try and be sustainable kids. And, well, the standard Vertigo disc that comes on the works wheels, although I do love the green hubs, uh, it just doesn't feel as good as the solid FIM style one. So I have a new disc for this one, and again, I've done quite a lot of riding on this wheel, and it needs some new bearings. Now for the keen of sight, unlike me, who's wearing old lady glasses, uh, you'll notice that I have um, had a little bit of a problem and I have snapped my mudguard slightly. Now, good thing about the Vertigo, they're really cheap, so I've got some fresh stickers. But is today the day or should I just keep using this one as a practice mudguard? Not sure. I do like the idea of having one that I don't mind clipping though. But, still got one. Now as part of my long-term test on this bike, when I say long-term test, I mean owning this bike, I have tried to find out how long I can go without changing my air filter. And I know in the comments right now, you're gonna crucify me and don't worry, I know it's not exactly best practice. I know, I used to own a beta, which meant you needed to change your air filter every five to 10 seconds. No. So, in a minute, we're gonna crack this open and see what she looks like after six months of continuous use. I mean, obviously I've taken any big bits out of the air box, like leaves and twigs and mud, but yeah, I think you'll be surprised. Would you cancel my two o'clock? This next meeting could run a little bit deadly. Calling you up at two in the morning But you don't wanna talk, you don't wanna bother yeah, So I took another shot, let my brain do the walking It's not even dirty really, let's be honest There's a few small specks on it I mean... Seriously? And as if by magic it Wasn't very magical, was it? No Fresh one So, I'm gonna get her oiled up and get her in the bike. This is like, this bit's really boring, I'm sorry. But, you know, maintain your bike, take care of it. I don't wanna be a friend, I want something real. Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same. And maybe if you treat me right. So for those of you that struggle to get uh, filter oil on filters without getting it all over your hands, take the bag, put some filter oil in there, stick the filter in there, give it a big mash around, done. You can rearrange, but I'm not even gonna try If you don't wanna stay, so how's it gonna be? You look at me on my knees Right, shall we speed the other bits up? Because this is mad, and if you wanna watch how to change some pegs, I've got a video for that. I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure I just need some closure And now I'm gonna change over this standard disc and pop in some new bearings. Go. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, have I mentioned I've had a front pipe? Now, I do change my gearbox oil quite often. I've just drained it all off. It's very, very thin stuff. So it's the uh, 75 weight rock oil that was, um, I was told to use by Doug Lampkin himself. So I use that one. Take the sump plug out, get rid of all the swarf off the bottom of the magnet. There wasn't a lot of it. I do change my oil quite often. And uh, put it back in and fill it back up. 400 mil. Last but not least, just checking, we can see that nice clear oil now through the side glass. Beauty. Now in season two, I've decided that we should start giving away tips. You know, bits and bobs, not full lessons because there's no experience like going and learning how to ride a trials bike by being trained. So see the last episode in season one for that. But we're going to start doing Trials Day top tips here at Trials Day, most of the time. So I suppose we're going to need another presenter for that. Stu, where are you at? Come on, come on, if you're 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 on, if you are we're going to be talking about footrests and your feet, which are the foundation of everything. So position on the pegs can be crucial. Having your foot too far in or even too far out can be a nightmare when you end up being out in a section or having your foot in the completely wrong place altogether on your toes or too far on the heel can end up, well, getting you all tangled up on the bike, which it ain't good. So throughout season two, we are going to have some trials day top tips with our man Stu. So foot positions, it's crucial. Having your foot in the right position is going to allow you movement of your body. Having your toes nicely pointing out, but mobile, allow your feet to be able to shift on the pegs. It'll allow your pelvis to be able to move and you'll get a greater sense of balance by being able to shift. Use all of the foot rests. You see, the foot rolling on the outside is giving me even more width to move my body, which will directly affect the bike. This is your foundation to all of the good techniques. And that's this week's Trials Day Top Tip. Back to you, Danny. At Greek school, I learned valuable lessons like if Nick has one goat and Maria has nine, how soon will they marry? Why, well, thank you, Stu, for a nice top tip. Now, so far in this episode, we have seen me mess around, changing bearings, taking care of the bike, obviously talking a little bit too much about my front pipe. Have you seen my front pipe? No. This episode was titled, Do I Still Love My Vertigo? Obviously, it's a yes. And that's because some bikes make you want to ride. Some bikes make you feel like you're the best rider in the world. She's so stable, so easy. Love it. And this bike, for me personally, has been a real breath of fresh air. It's reignited my passion for trials. Not that it needed reigniting, just that, you know, sometimes we all need a little kick up the bum. And this bike makes me want to play.
Do you know what I mean? Thank you for watching Trial Tube. Series 2 has started off with a few things a little bit different and don't worry, we're going to return to the status quo as always. We've got, in our next episode, I'll tell you what we've got. That's right, next week on Trial Tube, we've got a bit of blue for the dads. And we also have coming up a few more bike reviews, which I know you guys love the bike reviews, so we've got plenty of that coming up. We've got some more top tips. We'll be visiting many, many venues around the country to give our venue review. That'll be coming up soon as well. We're going to do the big gear review. That's coming up as well. And as always, please remember to like, share and subscribe. We want to say a huge thank you to everybody that supports the channel. It's really got me back into doing this. And well, what can I say? I just enjoy it. And last but not least, remember, do I still love my vertigo? Hell yeah, this thing is sick. Maybe a little bit too much. As always, see you next time. Come on, it's not that high. Just like a push bike. Hey, how with me if you're